Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today we're playing They Are Billions. You guys really seem to like this game, which is good. I also like it a little bit. Uh, we had our asses handed to us last time, so I thought we were going to tune down the difficulty a little bit. We're going to go on accessible difficulty instead, which is the step below challenging. It's going to give us a score factor of 55%. So now it's not nothing amazing, but we have to do. And hopefully we can complete that and we can actually move on to the next type. Unless we need to be 100% score, in which case we'll try that. But first, let's try this and see how it goes. Okay, so we joined it up on this gloomy little place. Let's take a look around. While we build some tilts. We got iron there. We got a shock tower there. That's very good. You're gonna remain there, actually. There's a bit more zombies about. There's gonna be a bit less zombies about than what we used to, but I played a little bit on easy difficulty just to get like hands of controls and such. Still no near good, so don't worry guys, you're going to see me spectacularly fail, don't worry about it. So only one axis there. Got one major axis there. Okay, you're going to need to make some food. We're gonna go ahead and use the lake right there. Okay, we're not gonna mess with the horde. So what failed us last time is actually a mechanic they've added to make sure that you can't just, you know, pick off one zombie at a time. Uh, don't mind that, that's just a stupid stream noise. Um, so what it actually does is sure. if you start attacking as part of the horde, the rest of the horde will pretty soon follow. Which sure? was why we ended up having this flood last episode. So we're going to have to keep clear of that. Don't mess with okay. the horde unless you're ready to actually mess with the horde. Sure? So the good news are we okay. seem to be pretty well guarded here. Great. Uh, the bad news are that we're also surrounded. Yes. If I understood this completely right. This better be good. <laughs> Alright, we're going to have to work with it. Immediately now, let's start to work towards getting some military bases. We're going to get a sawmill up and going. Right, there's good. Not that much wood right. around us, which is going to be annoying. Got some more power sources back here. Okay. Nice. Okay, yeah. Keep exploring. As you can see, like when you don't have that many zombies on, okay. it's very much easier to explore. You still have those hordes gotcha. to worry about. But it's not at all on the same extent like it was on the harder difficulty. Let's okay, go over there. Okay, let's go ahead and get some... What do I need for the... I need more wood. And it's not even done constructing yet, so give it a break. You again? Yes. Attention. Gotcha. Oh shit! That, oh shit! That's a running zombies. That's a running zombies. Right. That might be a problem. Okay. You're not allowed to return home just yet, guys. You're gonna have to lose those. Are you sure? So we're gonna head over here instead of heading home. Oh shit! Okay, yes. now we done fucked up. Great. Because these guys are forced backwards towards the gotcha. base with a running sword. A running horde behind them, yeah. or a running sword behind them. Arguably that would be more terrifying, but you know. Great idea. Yeah, more hordes no, there. I'm just kidding. Let's go ahead and just claim that building. Great. Yeah. What? Okay, My yeah, sure, take that guy down there if you have yes. to. There you go, you guys are gonna have a guard there. You again. I would like what? two of you to head over to... Okay. This section right here. You are gonna pay me for this, right? And you're gonna have to guard this entire frontier until we get some more dudes. Actually, we're gonna move like one more up. We got an oil pile right there, so that's sweet. That's oil, by the way. I didn't realize this last time I was playing through. Uh, let's go ahead and get mining on that stone pretty quickly here. Only three, so nothing great, but I'll have to do. It'll have to do. Okay, so we've now got a little bit of things going to actually get some uh, things up here. We've got some wood, 
We're being shopped and we got some stone, soon to be mined. Let's set up a secondary sawmill actually. We need more workers for that, of course. So let's go get some workers. There we go. Should be enough. We're also not going to overdo the cottage building because that was really annoying for us last time. We built like way too many. As a result, like we uh, we constantly had to battle against food need. And uh, that's not something we really want to do. So we're going to have to be a little bit more careful this time about. Let's go ahead and expand with one single tower right there. So we can go ahead and build stuff back here. We're stacking up on wood, that's good. Let's go ahead and immediately get a tower up. Let's get a tower right there, why not? Just to give us a little bit of advantage. Let's go ahead and also spread actually a tower there so we can spread to that iron field over there, that'd be sweet. And uh, yeah, that's all we're gonna do for now, I think. Could build that one too, so let's go ahead and do that. How are we looking on workers? Did I use them up all now? No, we got six workers. So I should be able to make a sawmill. Right. We'll build one right there. 13 wood, that's sweet. I was gonna go ahead and actually make a hunter's cottage right here. That's going to be an okay source. 12. I mean, I've been better, but it's always something. Attention. Building completed. Yeah, getting those resources. So we actually want to go ahead and craft a wooden workshop because that's really like the upgrade station. Uh, so that's something we're going to have to focus a little bit extra on this time about. Uh, can I get... Am I running low on workers again? Yes, I am. Workers and gold. Let's go ahead and make some uh, more houses then. I'm going to build them on the back here. Why can't you build there? Oh, it's blocking free access. Really? I will block. Uh, I'll put it there then. There we go. Should give us some more workers, and the food supply should not be dreadful. Now we got three food, so we might actually have to expand a little bit for more food resources. Building completed. Attention. Building completed. I present ah. your mayoral candidates. I honestly have a much uh, harder time finding stones, so I'm going to go ahead and take that instead, if you don't That's mind. Building completed. Okay, we are now earning quite a bit of stuff here, so yes, we can make the barracks. Sweet, that right up there. We are now completely out of workers, which sucks, and we also need stone and all of that wonderful jazz. We need gold though to get some miners for that iron, which is good. We've got a zombie up there. You, you, you guys, you need to take care of him. You don't want zombies to get close to our base because we eventually forget about them and they'll take over everything. Okay, my plan is to get power to that tower right there. It's really close. We'll just have to do one more. Like back here. That's good anyways, because I would like the power to spread out so we can be nice and extended and start building a wall to get this section secure. There we go. You are paying for this, right? No, I'm not. Like, if you get off that sassy attitude of yours, I'm not paying you shit. <laughs> Just letting you know this. Okay, the soldier barracks is right done. Good. Okay, what about resources here? We are looking a little bit long workers again. We need more food too. Okay, can I build another fisherman cottage if I place it right over here? Yes, I can. There you go. 17. That's actually a very good number. Uh, that zombie... I No, I don't think it's going to trigger the horde. That's a good thing. They are wandering over here, so that's a huge bummer for us, really. Okay, 
Okay, so the tower is up and going. What do I need to do? There's two workers, 30 energy, wood, nine stone. That's actually worth it because this place is more or less on its own going to be able to secure this area. Attention. I'm just going to put an archer in that tower and this entire section is now more or less safe. Something very, very good. It did cost us quite a bit of resources, but you know, sometimes you have to pay a little bit extra to get something extra. Okay, let's keep building out houses on the back here. There we go. Now we're out of wood, unfortunately. So we're going to have to just get building on that again. Let's see, what can we do for wood? I can place another hunter's cottage. Can I get, like, a good proper place? Alright, oh, I can't completed. even build it because I don't have Attention. power. Reaching all there. Oh, there we go, 17. All right, next to the woods, that's good. Yeah, see, this guy is going to keep things clear. He knows how to do it. Sweet. Jesus, that's powerful. I love it. So hopefully that's actually going to serve as more as a detergent and won't actually trigger the bloody zombies. That's not a possibility, you know. Good, you managed to pick that guy up. Yeah, look, they are getting interested now. Attention. Hmm. I don't think I can stop him either, so... <laughs> we are now dedicated to having the defense out there. I'd like to build a wall around him. Like so, to make sure that he's not the first thing the zombies reach. Let's see, we want to press tab, and we're actually going to go ahead and not build towers because we're running out of wood. I'm going to replace this thing a little bit then with the tower. Yes, that'd be good. Let's see, for example, we could build a tower right there. That'd be good enough just to like keep this area secure as well. This guy is going to do a heck of a job keeping this area clear, and now with the wall there, He's going to be pretty self-sufficient. Sweet. Got zombies still crawling around. I don't like that a little bit. Not even a little bit. How are we doing on things here? We need uh, workers and we need wood. Let's get some more houses then. Um, I'm getting pretty stocked out down here. So that's the bummer. I'm running out of food again, which is a huge bummer. Fisherman Cottage, I don't think I can place one on one. What about a Hunter's one? You can place one right there for 13. That's always that's always alright. You're actually going to move into that tower instead. Be a little bit more offensive. There you go. Sweet. Okay. Uh, we are full on wood, so let's go ahead and use the resources. And build a tower right there. And right there. And a gate and a wall. There we go. Keep that place nice and secure. Building completed. I love how the villagers decide to take the safe route of walking outside of the city walls. Like, if there were zombies outside, I would not take a step out, you know? <laughs> like, there is no way you will have to pay me so much money for even me to consider it. We can build another barracks, but we can build a wooden workshop, which is great news. Get this thing up and going immediately because this thing does provide a farm for us in the end, which is very good place to get some food at. We also get stronger walls, which is something we want to get when the hordes are starting to get a bit more intense. Okay, we get iron too, which is sweet. Let's go ahead and recruit. How many workers do we have? We've got three workers. Well, let's increase our numbers then. Oh. We are missing gold. We're going to have to wait one round. Look at that gold. Look at that Tesla tower doing its thing. I love it. Dude, you're going to have to wake up there. Here you go. Good. Don't want that to mess with us. There we go. So now we've got three more warriors to keep the borders safe. What do you want now? Which is always sweet. These zombies are getting rather intrusive, so we might 
really want to consider expanding that, that way. It's really quick to on the reef surge, isn't it? And there's a one hit on these fucking things. That's always, always a good thing. Any orders? Come we can on. move a little bit there now. Yeah, Three see, more. that's what I was worried about. On your orders. Okay, we're good. Let's go ahead. Can you build the... Uh, yeah, we got uh, excess wood again. Need, of course, any power. So I need one more worker. Let's find some more worker places then. We've got some nice... No. There we go. We're out of food. I don't need food to place you guys don't do I? No. Building completed. Now this guy is done. We got cottages and we got the farm. That's what we want to get researching on immediately, because that will give us like 60 food if we place it there. Which of course is going to mean a lot for our resources. I honestly want you there. Attention. More. Building completed. There Reporting for duty. Alright. We now have a bunch of armed okay? personnel protecting the unprotected side of this place, which is very good news. I would love for them to be a bit more safe. So let's go ahead and build up a radio tower so we can get some more shields up here. I wanted so badly to include that entire lake, but I guess I can use it as a natural divider of the horde. I'm going to build a tower there then. Who's shooting? You are. Okay. I'm honestly not even a little bit worried. I think this tower is going to be able to hold this wall all fine on its own. <sighs> it's always fun when you can integrate buildings like that into your defenses. Got a lot of resources over there, but that's pretty far away. Soon the farm is done, and we have enough gold to build it immediately, I think. I'm not uh, building Attention. anything until I know building that I can completed. build it. Right, come on, it's almost done. We completed that now. Good. So, so what do you need for the farm? You need four workers. Uh, yeah, that's we can do that. Let's see, let's see. We got 58. Come on, give me the 60. There it is. 60 fucking food. There we go. That's what I like about you. Okay, let's get those walls up and going now, and we uh, clear that. Actually, can we get a warehouse? We cannot get a warehouse, requires 10 workers. And we need more food, and we can't do that until that place is ready built. Uh, let's go ahead and get a wall right away, though, because they're getting pretty aggressive over here. So we're going to build tower, and then on the same line right there, tower. Then we're gonna build a gate in the middle. And then we're gonna build wall, 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 wall. And a wall there, just to make sure that we don't get any funny clipping going on. Attention, building completed. There we go, the farm is now done. We now have suddenly an abundance of food out of bloody nowhere. That's sweet, I like it. Let's go ahead and get some houses now, and we've got that expanded. And uh, why don't you research uh, the Great Ballista Market? That's actually a very good thing. Research Market. That will give us a lot of gold. So you'll go in on that tower, and you'll go in on this tower. You're going to be reinforcing back here now, because we might have triggered these guys now. So just to be safe, we're going to get out and ready for them. It seems like they're being pretty docile about it. Now uh, we're triggering them a little bit too much, I think. These guys seem to be able to handle one another. Good. Good. That's the way it should be. Able to handle things. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get some defenses here then. So, tower. I have to wait for the nice two to be terminated. Okay, so we want you to... Um, would have loved that corner to belong to us, but we're actually going to have to build it there then. Uh, we're going to build it there. And uh, why can't I build more? There we go, it was just weird for some reason beyond me. Let's build the tower there. 
And let's build the tower there. Let's build a gate right there. And let's also build a gate. No, we, we don't need more gates. And yeah, let's just plonk down defenses then. Shit. Not ready. You can get into that tower anyways. Just tell me what to do. You can move over here. You're gonna walk up there. There you go, get in there. Unfortunately, you're gonna be on the outside of the wall, mate. Hopefully, you don't mind that. Okay. Is the research done on the market? Yes, it is. What did I need for you then? 400 gold. We're gonna have to wait that in. Because the gold is going to do miracles for us. Okay, so you get in there, you and you me? get in there. Sweet. Oh, got a little bit of a save. Come on, can we do the market now? We should be able to do the market now. We need to have at least 200 colonies on board. Shit, did not plan for that. Let's get the cottage then. And let's go ahead and get these uh, wooden walls. We're completely ready. Like so. There we go. That should keep us sufficiently safe for now. We have completely walled ourselves in. It's the first step to survive the day. I am pretty confident that we're going to be able to handle the first wave without much discussion. That's why hopes and dreams, anyways. Let's see if we can't go ahead and hire some more soldiers. Running low and cold again. I would like uh, another soldier up in here and uh, honestly start to replace these archers with gunmen they're a bit more powerful so why don't you immediately just uh, run into that tower and we'll move her later <laughs> I was not ready for the amount of cottage needed uh, okay so let's go ahead and try to expand this place down here like, we need to defend this pretty heavily, because if they break through here, that entire area is going to turn zombified in a matter of seconds. So, yeah, we always want to consider actually building a secondary wall. We got the wood. We got the wood, so let's do it. Uh, we need to just upgrade the power, of course. One step. Uh, can I even? I'll have to do it out here. So, I just want a secondary shield because this place can't really fall. Because if this place falls, we're dead. We're so dead, it's stupid. Uh, did the. Yeah, we do. We got that guy now. Why don't you walk in there, lady, instead? This place just keeps zapping zombies. I love it. These are setting up a nice defense. The cottage is now done. We can research the stone workshop. I would like to research the Great Ballista, or the Inn actually is a very good thing. It requires a lot though. So that might not be what we're looking for right now. Instead, let's go ahead and upgrade some houses. We're going to upgrade these ones because they are in the safest position we can offer them. Uh, there we go. We're all out of wood. It's nice to see that wood has been used up since we, use a l we can have a lot of that. Uh... My target right now is just to get the population cap above 200 so we can get the market. Because if we can get the market, we can start selling off excess material. And that would be sweet! I think it's time to start looking a little bit on a safe way to expand. Good, so the tower is done. Let's go ahead then and place... Uh, stew like... I, uh... Oh shit, no, I don't want you. Never mind. You. Never mind you. We're gonna get a wall there instead. And it's gonna go like so, and so, and then tower, and so. So double shielded wall, we're going to also deploy a great ballista here the moment we unlock that. Just to make sure that this area cannot be breached. That's going to be very good for us. Ok, 
Okay, sweet. Uh, you, can you go ahead and evacuate to that place instead? That's not being so terrified. Please, you're scaring me. Because, like, the moment I hear this screaming, you know, I always think, like, oh shit, they broke in. We are all dead. We're dead. Might as well sign up and just go home now. Oh no! Shit, wrong button. I, like, I clicked it a second, I realized I was doing something wrong. Uh, I'm gonna build that right back up. And we're gonna get the energy right now, because we need it. Go ahead and deploy it here in the barren wasteland. Cost a lot of gold. <sighs> there we go. You might as well also move out that step. This is a very good spot because now, like, even if they break through here, they won't really earn anything. They'll get one worker from this guy, uh, but then they need to also take the second wall down, which I'm gonna upgrade to stone as soon as possible. Uh, you know, that's a uh, pretty far away down the road. We're doing a lot better right now, I feel. I mean, sure, it is an easy difficulty, but I still think that we are doing a lot greater, especially thanks to this guy who just keeps zapping everything. Sweet, we now have more power. Go ahead and upgrade closest to the base first, and we'll move outwards. Okay, so we need to actually build another farm. Uh, so we need a little bit more wood. There you go. The nice thing with the farm is that it doesn't require workers. So I can build you there. I cannot build you here. And you of course you can deploy it on the rock, but it won't give you anything because it needs grass to function. 32 seems to be the greatest we can get right now. There we go. Get us 32. Where's more grasslands if we need to expand? We got grass here, we got grass patches there. We've got a lot of grass out here, so I suppose we can try to push out to secure that. If push comes to shove. Okay. Why are you out there? What weird walks are these? Sweet. I love it. From the east. From the east. Alright then. No biggie, we'll just go ahead and relook the defenses. You go in there, and you'll go in there. That should be enough, really, but for safety's sake, we might as well relocate you up in that tower as well. Because they might come there, and they might come there. One of the two ways. In the case, I'm pretty confident. Like, the problem the tower is going to have is that it's one target only. It's not going to zap a bunch of zombies. So there's that to worry about. So actually, let's get you and stand there instead. If you can shoot over the wall. Okay, yeah, they're definitely coming straight for that. So let's go ahead and also move you over here. Uh, yeah, let's move you too. Just to support with as much extra power for this huge electrical bus if we can. Alright, let's see the zombies crumble upon my impenetrable defense. Should be here right now. Okay, the tower has begun firing on innocent zombies. There they come. Oh my god, they just take a bunch of people. That's really powerful. Wow. Well, that's shockingly effective. Any orders? Yes, I'm sorry. I do deserve to lose. I'm very sorry. 